We're at the Wine, Beer and Food Festival in Grand Rapids and it was recently named one of the 12 best wine, beer and food festivals in North America by Forbes magazine. So you definitely don't want to miss this event. Of course, there's going to be traditional wines, but also when you get here, you're going to get this little booklet that has all the classes you can take all weekend long. Right now, we're going to learn one of the cocktails that you can make. We are at the Wine, Beer and Food Festival getting a preview of what New Holland has on tap for us. I'm with Nate Blurry and he is uh, going to make some fantastic drinks for us. You are in what's the, the bourbon this is the mm. bourbon bar area mm -hmm. and we are so excited to be here. This is actually going to be where we're going to be hosting cocktail classes and doing trainings throughout the weekend. And of course we have a couple other spots in the arena as well. And we're so excited to be here, you know, this weekend. And today I thought it'd be fun to make one of the cocktails we're doing in the class. Yes. And so I'm going to start out today with our apple cider mule. Ooh. I know it's great. And this is a really simple recipe, but again, we'll be teaching it in the class. We're simply going to start out with four ounces of apple cider. I'm going to add that right in here and then we're going to use our Lake Life Vodka. This came out this summer and Lake Life is really, it embodies what, what it is to be a part of the Lake Life that we are in West Michigan. So I'm going to add just a little bit there. Okay. And finally, we're going to top this off with some of our ginger syrup. So mm. this is one of the best parts. This is our Jamaican ginger syrup. This is a simple syrup and you can make this at home. Oh wow. Simply it's about one part water to one part sugar and then you put a little bit of ginger root in there to reduce it down. And we're going to add some ice right here and give this a nice little mix. It's great to see um, how these cocktails are made in person. Absolutely. And again, we want to take sort of the mystery away from it mm -hmm. because this is what our cocktail classes are for. And this is the best part. We're going to pour this in an original tin cup. They are a drinkware company right here in West Michigan. Right. And you were telling me a little bit about how these are made. Absolutely. It's really cool. They're actually made entirely in West Michigan. They uh, start out uh, the size of a dinner plate and they hit it nine times to form it into that. So this right here is our apple cider mule, I part of the it. class that we'll be having here at the food festival. And then the next thing I wanted to make, I like to shake things up a little okay, bit. Okay, I do too. Oh, absolutely. So we're going to do a Fitzgerald. This is one of those classic cocktails that people can get at our facilities whenever they come to visit us. And uh, we're going to start out with our barrel aged Knickerbocker gin. And uh, the gin is actually made in downtown Grand Rapids, wow, but finished okay. in the same barrels that we use our Dragut's milk. Um, the way we make yeah. our beer, we partner up. Gives it a little extra complex flavor, huh? It really does, and it adds that beautiful color to it. I'm going to add some simple syrup here to it. And, of course, we're going to finish up with a little bit of lime juice. And this is another cocktail you can learn in the class? You can learn this in the class, but really this one is going to be more something that you can get when you go to our rooms, okay. and our tasting room and our facility here in Grand Rapids. It's a couple of dashes of bitters. And then again, I'm going to add some more ice. And this is my favorite part. I'm going to shake this one up a little bit. So we're going to give this a nice shake. Oh, wrong glass there. Let's toss this in here and just give it a nice shake. So this one we're going to finish in what we call a coupe glass, which is a smaller cocktail glass. And I love the retro stemware that's coming Isn't out right it now. So fun. Yes. And this is an old glass. This is a classic cocktail. This is a glass that would have been used during the, the Roaring Twenties and during Prohibition. So I'm going to top this off. And the best part is that mm, little, little lemon. Yes. You know, we'll wrap so, that around mm -hmm. there and just toss that there. So this is our Fitzgerald. Again, you can get that in any of our tasting rooms. So there's lots to experience here. Absolutely, we're so excited. People can visit our beer booth as well as our spirits booth and of course the bourbon bar where we'll be doing our classes. So with that, I'd like to give you a nice cheers, toast. Thanks cheers. for coming. Thank you so much. It was fun to shake things up a little bit with you, Nate. Absolutely. And if you would like more information on the Wine, Beer and Food Festival, which runs all weekend long, I've got that for you, 13onyourside.com.